welcome back to Gun Buddy Customs. And tonight, we're gonna do a follow-up video to the Cobra Python Patrol Officer Kit Bash video that I um, posted earlier today. And it was just because of the positive response that it, that it got. And so I thought, well, since I did, you know, uh, the mashup between the original officer, Cobra Officer number 37, and the new number 97, um, Cobra Python Patrol Officer, this one, all right, and this one, the regular number 37 officer, I thought, well, why don't we pull out the original number 056 and see what we can make just out of kit bashing, um, throwing in that third variable. He does have different color. He has a darker gray in his accessories as opposed to um, the light gray in his gloves and, and boots, so you can kind of see that. And then also, it's obviously different from the, the, the black of the original release officer. So I'm just gonna kind of switch it up, see what I can get out of it. Um, I'm, what I really wanna do is I wanna put the gray, all of the dark gray stuff from this one, on this one, the way we did the all black on that one. So we'd have like a black and gray. And then I actually wanna put all of the Python Patrol stuff, the, the harness, the belt, and the, and the, the knees on him so uh, basically we're just going to be sort of switching out torsos um because like i said i want the dark gray on him and then any black or anything like that that i want out of here i can uh mix them up and then also um i will be the same thing i do with all of them where i make this a a bottom inserted magazine by uh drilling out um three holes that kind of match the 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 magazine well where it inserts here on the side and you know, if you have one in your hand, you can kind of see, it's almost like a, I don't even know how to say it, like maybe like a triple hourglass. So it's wide at the ends, it narrows, and then it opens up in the middle. And so that's what I do. I mimic that by drilling three holes of that same diameter at the bottom of it. So then that way it could be a bottom inserted magazine. Okay, so let's pull these out. And let me get them out of the way so you can kind of see what's on the table. So I did have fun doing this, and, and it did get a pretty positive response, so I figured, what the hell, um, I'm not feeling too great today, so I'll do just uh, a simple kind of uh, kit bashing video, and we'll see how far how far we get. So I'll be opening these up, and then I will, you know, be chit-chatting or whatever during that time. My shockwave came in today, and um, I don't know, all I can say is it's, you know, I mean, it's a figure. I think, I think we could have gotten um, a, a better rendition of him. I'm not too sure what uh, version of him came with those, the, the, the kind of same accessories that he has. I guess maybe it was like a later release, like Pursuit of Cobra or something like that, where he came with like a riot shield and um, two submachine guns and all that kind of, and a nightstick. I was kind of hoping for um, the accessories from his original 88 release, the, uh, the big silver, uh, sort of survival knife with a serrated edge, the Uzi with the suppressor on it, and the, it had like a, a single bar kind of arm stock, and um, a nine. I think that would have been a little bit cooler than, than what they got, because the, the, the seven machine guns that he has, I'm gonna pull them out there, just a second. They seem small, like almost for like, if they're almost for like a, a four inch toy. They don't seem like they're for a, a, a six inch toy. Let me see here. See that? See how small they look? They just look really small. They're just tiny. So I don't know. They just—it's unfortunate. He was a—he was a good character, and uh, also like his—if you look at his face, the the uh, the face almost kind of looks like kind of flat. I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't seem to have the same like kind of emotion to say like the original Firefly or Beachhead. Uh, looks a little bit different. I don't know, maybe that is the beachhead head. It might be, but I don't know. I guess I'll just open more. And it's got real bad, the real bad arm gaps on both of them. I do like how they put this this little forearm, forearm armor that kind of matches this on here. I think that look, does look cool. His belt looks cool. His vest is cool. Um, but I just would prefer he, he had weapons that were closer to his original release. Okay, so here's his stuff. 
helmet, extra head, and this is the head that we're gonna use because I like I like this face mask a whole lot better um, than um, this one with the sort of soft cloth kind of looking to it. I haven't opened one of these in quite a while. Uh, one of these original uh, number 56 Python Patrol officers. And everybody knows what a what a Python Patrol whore I am, and yeah, I'm fine with that. For whatever reason, there's something about Python Patrol for me. All right, let's get into this. Okay. Now, you can see that even when they did this one, they started using that that really uh, soft material. But now we got a green one, a dark gray one, and a black one, so we can kind of match those up. So what my what my plan is is to um, and look. The legs are the same. Oh, that is crazy. I never noticed that on these before. It wasn't as noticeable until this until this new Python Patrol officer. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I am going to be basically doing a, a leg swap because they have the black, both have the black trousers. I'll be doing a leg, just a leg swap. So the um, so this one can get these Python Patrol um, knee uh, covers and then the, the accessories. And, you know, on top the the LBB, the harness, and then the uh, the belt. And then from there, we'll see what it looks like. We'll see how uh, cool it looks, how terrible it looks, or what. All right, so stand by, give me a couple of minutes, and I'm gonna break those down. Okay, and we're back. Okay, so I disassembled them, and I put them back together the way that I wanted to. So this is what the end result ended up being. So the Python Patrol Officer, the, the newly released one, the number 97, what I did was is I switched out the dark gray accessories from the original Python Patrol release, number 56, I believe. So I, swept, I swapped out their gear the same way that I did with the original Python Patrol, I mean, the original Python, well, the original officer and the new Python Patrol Officer to, to get this blacked out one and then this blue with the Python Patrol gear and so now we have the black one with the gray gear which I really really like and I think I actually kind of like him more than the all black one because um, his um, his gear is a little bit more distinguished but I do think that they're both awesome I think they both look really good and they are just simple accessory swaps but this guy I think now for as far as Python Patrol goes I think he's my favorite I think he ended up looking the most python patrolish so this is the first one um, this is the second one and this is what i kind of made um out of those so he got the the python patrol all the python patrol gear so he's kind of doubled up on the on the on the diamond pattern but i really really like it i think compared to the first one the number 56 i think he's much much better looking I think he's way more Python Patrol looking, and I think they really needed the knees. So those, okay. so now I got four different Python Patrol officers. They could all be different squad leaders from different, you know, various Python Patrol squads. And then of course you have the, the regular blue one, and then our two new all black one, which, came out really awesome and then our new black and dark gray accessory one and once again I think he looks phenomenal as well all right so that's gonna be it for this little kid bashing video like I said this is just sort of a this is just sort of a chaser to the to the one that I dropped earlier because it got such a, a positive response and then it made me start thinking about the the, the first Python patrol officer so here you go. So here's out of three figures, here is uh, seven possible figures you can get by just just switching out accessories and doing a little bit of painting. If you remember, I uh, painted this helmet originally black, but then I gave him the black helmet from the number 56 release. And then I painted the first helmet that I painted black. I painted this dark gray. So no use in painting two helmets. So I just repainted the one that I'd already previously painted in order to, to match it. Then I match the gloves as well the gray for the gloves so then that way um it matches the rest of the accessories and i think like i said i think it came out phenomenal and they're definitely um 
definitely a cool, fun little little quick thing. Like I said, it only takes maybe about 10 or 15 minutes to do it, depending on how you heat up your your figure, whether you put them in, you know, like whether you, you boil and pop them, whether you use a heat gun like I do. Um, so it is up to you. But there you go. Seven Cobra officers, four different Python Patrol officers, and that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode.